of this, there is no doubt. In Wisconsin, they love their cheese. Cheese cups, cheese hats, cheese shirts. This is the bacon monster. Even the kind you eat. That's really good too. Cheese and milk and all dairy products are a key part of the economy and identity in Wisconsin. So you can imagine the reaction when some Wisconsin dairy farmers learned this month their livelihood was under threat. Jen and Shane Sauer were told the company that processes the milk from their cows, turning it into an ingredient used in cheese, could no longer sell in a key market, Canada, because of changes in Canadian dairy policy. Monday, April 3rd, I actually got a phone call from a fellow farmer of ours, and he said, hey, did you check your mail? The bad news was in a letter from their processor, and the Sours soon found out no one else would buy their milk either. Everyone's at capacity. So if by the end of this month, nothing changes, the Sours are faced with leaving the dairy industry. This is our life, and not just our life. It was, you know, our parents and our grandparents, and someday to be our children's lives. And it, it's, it's, it goes a lot deeper than what a lot of people think. The Sours aren't alone. Several dozen other dairy farmers in Wisconsin got the same letter. But this week, they got a forceful backing from an influential supporter on a visit to Wisconsin, Donald Trump. In Canada, some very unfair things have happened to our dairy farmers. Trump promised to pressure Canada to reverse those changes, but as dairy farmers here underline, that ignores the real issue. There's too much milk in Wisconsin. There are some huge operations here. It's a $43 billion a year industry with more dairy cows in Wisconsin than in all of Canada. Now, small family farmers are getting caught up in the squeeze. Processors have told us for quite a while that they want more milk. They need more milk. We were told we need to feed the world. So we were just trying to do our part. And the result of that is flooded market. Flooded the market. We have too much milk out there. Putting the cheese on the crackers. It's Pam Yankee and the Wisconsin Farm Report. Meanwhile, 5 a.m. at the biggest farm radio show in Wisconsin. And Pam Yonke, a.k.a. Farm Babe, is all over this story. President Donald Trump was in Kenosha earlier this week talking... Echoing the Sowers point, Canada's not the problem here. Therese Belier from the Dairy Farmers of Canada says they're not wishing any ill on Wisconsin farmers. And they so, what's up with Trump? Well, first, I'll tell you, uh, I think most of us were surprised that he even mentioned dairy at all. Let alone, she says, on a specific issue affecting only a handful of farmers. She, too, underlines the U.S. dairy industry has been allowed to grow too big. Have we figured out a way to solve it? No. Is the dialogue particularly heated on the subject right now? Yes. Will we resolve it? I'm going to bet you not. And, say some, there's another factor. Wisconsin was a key state for Donald Trump in last year's election. Sweetie. Dairy farmers Sarah Lloyd and Nels Nelson, both Democrats, suggest scapegoating Canada is misguided rhetoric, not substance. Well, he blames everybody else <laughs> for his problems most of the time. I don't think that Trump has that real interest. He may think it's a good talking point here and there. But if he really was interested in building an economy that supported families and rural communities and farmers, then he would be really helping us. It's a circumstance Wisconsin dairy farmers struggle with. The problems are acute. Family farmers are not the cause. And no one seems to have an appropriate response, not even the president. As many wonder, how can things ever improve in Wisconsin's flooded market, a message for Canada. We don't blame you. It's that simple. It, it, and nobody's, I, I don't really truly think anybody's pointing the finger at one specific problem, one specific person, one, you know, one country. We just want solutions. 
and to farm as dairy farmers here always have, in a place where until now they've been encouraged to. Paul Hunter, CBC News, outside Madison, Wisconsin.